Thanks to the light sensor on my Circuit Playground Express, I didn't get a face full of whatever that was. A light sensor is an electrical component that changes its properties based on how much light is falling on it. We can use them to measure how light or how dark something is. The Circuit Playground Express's light sensor is the clear part next to the A8 and I symbol. This particular light sensor works very much like an LED, but in reverse. Let's talk about how we can do that. A conductor is any material that allows electricity to flow through it, like this metal nail. An insulator, on the other hand, like this plastic pen cap, prevents electricity from flowing through it. A third type of material exists called a semiconductor, and semiconductors are interesting because they only allow electricity to flow through them under special circumstances. Let's zoom way in on an LED. You'll see a tiny piece of semiconductor material surrounded by the LED body. One part of this semiconductor is known as P-type semiconductor material, which allows positive electric charges to move around more freely than negative charges. The other side is N-type semiconductor material, and as you can probably guess, it allows negative charges to move around more freely. When P-type and N-type materials are joined together, some of the freely roaming positive and negative charges meet in the middle and cancel each other out. This area is known as a depletion region. It's difficult for electricity to move through this depletion region, so it acts as a sort of insulator. Two conducting materials separated by an insulator can act as a capacitor, a device capable of storing electrical energy. If we shine light onto an LED, the depletion region becomes slightly larger, which takes over parts of the P and N type materials. If we remove the light, the depletion region decreases in size. As the depletion region varies in size, it changes the capacitance between the P and N type regions, which we can measure with this capacitance meter. I've connected my capacitance meter to this LED. As I shine light onto the LED, the capacitance of the PN junction decreases. And when I remove the light, the capacitance value increases. Making a night light is so four months ago. Using a flashlight, we can make a crude tripwire to catch my evil twin before he tries to prank me again. The idea is pretty simple. We'll shine a flashlight onto the Circuit Playground Express, making sure that the light sensor is sufficiently well lit. When someone walks in front of the beam, they will cast a shadow onto the light sensor, which we will detect and then sound an alarm. In make code, go into loops and drag an on start block to the work area. Then from music, drag a set volume to underneath on start. Since this is an alarm, we want this to be pretty loud. Crank it up to over 200. From logic, drag an if block to forever. Back in logic, drag a less than block to the if blocks conditional statement. Go to input and drag a light level block to the left side of the less than block. The light sensor will give us a reading between zero, which means no light, and 255, which means lots of light. For my setup, I found that 40 was a good threshold for the light. So long as the flashlight is shining on the light sensor, the light level block gave me a number over 40. You might have to experiment to find the best number for your environment. From music, grab a play tone block and put it under the if statement. We don't want a pleasing sound here. We need it to be a screeching, terrible noise, so change the note to 1500 hertz. Leave the timing to one half beat. Add another play tone block under that one. Change the note to 2000 hertz. This should give us a high-low siren noise. Feel free to try it in the simulator. Drag the light level bar to below 40. You should hear an awful siren sound. Drag it back to above 40 to turn it off. Download the code and copy it to your Circuit Playground Express. When we shine our flashlight onto the light sensor, the Circuit Playground Express will sit there quietly. If we break the beam with something, the alarm will go off. You now have a basic tripwire system. At the end of a corridor or inside a door, place the flashlight on one side and the Circuit Playground Express on the other. When someone walks through the beam, the alarm will go off. Light sensors have all sorts of uses. You can use them to turn on the lights at night or catch intruders. I hope all this information hasn't been too... alarming?